So guys, I just jumped right into the video because this video was super long. So I'm just going to have you guys watch me transform. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, I am slicking down this wig that I had. Um, it was an older wig and then like I washed it and all this other type of stuff. It wasn't looking too good. So I am gelling it down with Gorilla Snot and um even edge control and then i'm just gonna put it in a sort of a sleek kind of bun it wasn't too sleeky like i wanted it but um it was sleek enough and then i'm just gonna put it in a low bun to the side and then um continue to do my makeup so of course i always begin with my eyebrows and then i go into my eyeshadow here, I just sat down because I didn't feel like standing up anymore. Now, in this video, you're going to see me go from my eyebrows to my eyelash, to my eyeshadow, to this, to that. And it's not more so, like, choppy. It's just, like, doing your makeup, it takes time. So, I didn't want to, like, show me concealing my eyebrows for, like, a whole minute. You know, like, it's just concealing and then I just go. So, this video is featuring the Milani Orange Lipstick Matte that I did use um, on my eyes, which it did come out really, really cute. I just have really, really bad lighting in my bathroom, so you guys really can't see it, and I kind of hate that a lot. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure why I put that on my lips. I was just being funny. Trust me, I do not keep that on my lips the whole entire time. I definitely cannot wait until I actually get a new foundation because I am not really feeling the Maybelline fit me anymore. I kind of want to um try the Maybelline, no, CoverGirl, True Stay, or True Fit. I want to try that so bad. And then um I am getting like a new makeup eyeshadow palette, which I'm not going to talk about right now. This part here, I was aka baking and I baked with eyeshadow and I will never ever do it again because it really caked up and I was just like, uh-uh, you'll see here in a second, I'm going to put some concealer under my eyebrow, under my eyes again, just because it was cakey and I just was like, I ain't never doing that again. I never seen it like cake up like that. So note to self and to whoever out there, don't bake with eyeshadow, bake with whatever you need to bake with, which I don't really bake a lot, but I am going to start so, yes, here I am contouring my face with eyeshadow. And you know what? I love doing it with the eyeshadow, but I don't think I'm going to do the eyeshadow as dark. Just because when it looks more like a cool tone is what it would like be considered as. Than like a warm or yellow. So, or I'm sorry, red. So, I'll probably just use that, like, on my nose, and then around, I will use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, because it has, like, a red undertone in it, and it has a dark brown in it. So, yeah, I literally just use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and now I'm just highlighting underneath my contour, and then here is where I show you guys that I put highlighter underneath my eyes, because it was cakey. Okay, so you see here, I use the same brush that I applied my foundation with, and I just like blended everything out. So at this point, I am just highlighting my cubist bow, and then I'm going to go in with highlighter, which is really eyeshadow, but it does great for a highlighter. And I use two of them to make it like shine, shine really good. Next is my lips. I am aligning my lips right now with the same um, eyebrow pencil that I use to line out my eyebrows. And now I am taking this reddish lip gloss tint. It's like from e.l.f. And I am applying that to like the inner part of my lips just to make it an ombre. And then I'm going to take this Medex like just stuff that I put on my lips. Kind of like a gloss but it's not a gloss. And I'm um, go from there. And here I am concealing them to make the smoochy smooch really look cute to cute. 
Then I'm going to go ahead and, of course, blend that out. I have been thinking maybe my concealer is a little too light. So more than likely, I am going to try to go with a um, tint that is one step lower. Here is the finished um, results. Hopefully you like it. Look at those lips, guys. See what that concealer does. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that back out some more. Well, thank you for watching. You guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and follow me on Instagram at Rennie.Marie and Snapchat at CeciMarie93. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.